Hello and welcome to Taiwan. My name is John Rebeck and I'm a saxophonist. Today I'm visiting the Chang Lin Cheng Saxophone Museum in the town of Hoili in central Taiwan. During its heyday, Hoili produced about a third of the world's saxophones. The story about Lian Cheng and how he came to make a saxophone is a fascinating one. Let's go inside and find out more. We're inside the Cheng Lin Cheng Saxophone Museum. If you're interested in musical instruments, in particular saxophones, then it's well worth a visit. In fact, it's called a tourist factory museum. And just today there's been coach loads of tourists coming in to have a look at how saxophones are made. There's lots of information and lots of great exhibits. Information on the saxophone making process, information on Lin Cheng himself, the, the man who was responsible for the saxophone industry starting in Taiwan. Information on Adolf Sax. And this is one of my favorite exhibits. This is an original Adolf Sax saxophone. Not in great playing condition anymore, but it's dated from 1850. How great is that? The story of Lian Cheng's saxophone starts back in the 1940s. Lian Cheng grew up in Holi. He was the son of a farming family but he showed great talent at an early age for both art and music. He was a very proficient artist. Later on, he formed a jazz band with some of his friends. One of his friends had a saxophone and he taught himself to play. And they toured around Taiwan, they were very popular. Unfortunately, one day the saxophone was destroyed in a house fire. Saxophones were very rare and very expensive in those days. The only ones you could get came from Japan and very expensive. This was beyond the means of Lian Cheng. So what he decided to do was to take apart the saxophone and he basically built his own. Over a period of three years, he made accurate drawings of each part and after three years, he came up with a saxophone which he sold to a Filipino musician for in those days, a great sum of money and it was enough to start him off in business and hence Lian Cheng Saxophone Company was born. For most of its life, the Lian Cheng Saxophone Company has been making saxophones and parts of saxophones for other manufacturers. In the 1970s, saxophone production peaked in Hoili. At its peak, there were 30 factories producing about a third of the world's saxophone output. The 80s and 90s were a struggle for the saxophone makers of Hoili. Saxophones were being produced in China at much cheaper cost, cheaper labor, cheaper parts. In 2000, Lian Cheng rebranded itself as LC Saxophones. The Hoili saxophone makers couldn't compete outside of Taiwan. The skill, the craftsmanship and the quality of these saxophones was well known throughout Taiwan, especially by the Taiwan government, who provided assistance by commissioning a research institute to assist with in-depth analysis and research to enable the saxophone makers to improve their product and also give them guidance on marketing outside of Taiwan. For LC, the result of that in-depth analysis was a new saxophone, which they've been producing since 2009. When you combine quality materials, such as alloys, springs, pads, and all the other pieces that go to make up a saxophone, with the skills and craftsmanship 
and techniques handed down through generations, then you end up with a thing of beauty. And these RC saxophones really are beautiful. They're all handmade, hand finished, hand engraved, and they really are flawless. There's a lot of love and care and attention that goes into making these instruments. They come in four main varieties. The first one is a brass alloy. The second one has a slightly higher copper content. The third one has a very high copper content. And the fourth one, called a copper nickel, is a copper nickel alloy. And they're all slightly different and have their own characteristics. The model I'm playing here is a copper nickel, but it's got a black nickel finish. In many ways, these saxophones are similar to my Mark VI in terms of timbre and tone. They're robust, ergonomic, feel good under the fingers. And the tuning is excellent. The overtones are there, and altissimo is easy too. <laughs> The quality of the LFC saxophone really puts it alongside the best saxophones in the market. However, the good news is it's about half the price. Many professionals across the world are now looking at LC saxophones and using it for particular work, such as studio work, where they really need to rely on excellent tuning and reliability. And also, it's suitable for students who want to upgrade to a professional model but perhaps can't stretch to the, the top end of the market. LC saxophones have certainly come a long way in the last 68 years. The company is now in the hands of Lian Cheng's grandson and his wife, and they're taking the company forward internationally. Their four daughters make up a saxophone quartet, and they're very popular in Taiwan. They've had TV appearances and tour around, and doing a great deal for the LC name. The saxophone is being, becoming more popular further afield. Even Kenny G has one. I have every confidence that we're going to see LC saxophones gracing the international stage in the coming years. It's been a fantastic visit to this wonderful museum and I look forward to returning soon.